everyone welcome back everyone to the next episode on anubhav learning series in this episode we are going to talk about how can you preview your html pages in sap business application studio with the new changes in business application studio the preview option has been disappeared so we will utilize the ui5 tooling to preview our html pages which we are also using in vs code to actually see the output on the browser having said that let me switch over back to my business application studio and you can see when you start the bass the experience have have been changed a bit so typically now you have a computer directory over here in the bass this computer directory starts with the user projects and inside the projects you will have your sample project and sample files so in order to now support the preview of your plain html file you need to go ahead and follow the ui5 uh, practice for printing our html content yes and in this process basically you need to add a couple of files to your project and also provide a proper structure to your content so you can right now see my project just have a index html file with some content yeah now i would like to preview so if when you right click you see the preview option has been disappeared so what we do is we will first create a web app directory so let's create a web app directory and also create a manifest json file dot json and now what you need to do is you can see that web app and manifest json has been created so we can open the manifest file so i've done a mistake uh, let me delete the mistake is i have created a directory only so we should choose file and then we should create a directory so i'm just going to quickly delete and recreate so just come here and you can also click this icon in your project to create a file inside manifest uh, inside the web app directory so create web app slash manifest json this is the first thing you need to do in your project where you have the html file and now move your html file index html file inside the web app directory let's move so now you have the project with a web app directory and in con it contains your html file and a new file called manifest json so put curly braces and type sap app with a id you can give id as anything you want so i will give id as anubhav and now you need to put the type so type is going to be an application so i will also put this source code in the description of our video you can copy from the descriptions create a manifest file in the web app directory and move your html file also in the web app directory that's a step number one now what you need to do is you need to go to the sample project directory path in the terminal to do that we can switch over back and say terminal open a new terminal check which directory right now the terminal opens so it's opening user directory so now you should go to cd space projects directory now we are in the projects directory and then we need to go inside our our sample project which i have created for you so basically we are changing the directory and we are going to the directory where our project is lying and here you run a npm init command yes so just press enter 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 it will create a package json file yes i'm not explaining in detail what it is doing yes but i just created the content so when you get a pop up just cancel that pop up and now do a ui5 init command yes so these are the two things you need to do and we are ready so we just did three things we created a web app directory inside web app we created a manifest json file we added this content with some name of our project we did npm init command to create a package json file and we did ui5 init command to create a ui5 yaml file now our project is ready with ui5 tooling to be tested and simply you can do a ui5 serve command to see the preview of your file so you can see it started the preview here we can control and click on this it will launch the preview in the browser and now you can open the index html and yes there you go you can see a beautiful ganesha with anubavtrainings.com so that is how we can preview our html content using ui5 tooling 
For more detail on UI5 tooling and learning about how to develop your application on Business Application Studio, join our detailed training on SAP UI5 and Fury. I hope you enjoyed this video to find the solution of how to preview your content. All the commands which I have tested today, they are there in the description of this YouTube video. You can copy from there and then use them in Business Application Studio as it is. Thank you so much once again for joining this episode. See you in the next class. Goodbye.